Hey, what's going on guys? Greg De Palma with the Bass University, and today we got a treat for you guys. We're gonna walk through the Humminbird units, and I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of hacks that basically just are not talked about. Uh, and it's not that anybody's hiding it, it's because I just don't think anybody knows how to do these certain things. So, with that being said guys, let's jump right into it. Uh, you know, nowadays, I think number one problem a lot of guys do have with their boats is lack of power going to these graphs. I mean, they're running, you know, average, I would say, two to three graphs and some guys are running four and five. It takes a lot of power to power all these systems. Uh, so we're gonna start out with something super simple uh, that I do all the time and that's standby mode. Uh, you know, as simple as if your software updates are up to date, you'll have this on the Solix. It's as simple as a double tap on the power button and it puts my unit into standby mode. Anytime I'm up front, my stuff in the back is always on standby mode. You'll see when I power it back up, it's gonna turn the transducers back on too, so we're a lot quieter that way too, a lot more stealth. Uh, another really good little thing to do for you guys, it's as simple as saving some power. It's a one tap on the power button, and you'll see my black light right here is at number 10. So I'm running full brightness right now. I don't recommend running full brightness unless you're actually graphing, you're sitting at the console, and you're really looking for fish that are hard to find. So for me, you know, in a, in a, in a tournament day, I run eight and nine a lot. It doesn't seem like much, but you can just see right now, we jumped up three bolts on this one graph. And when you got four or five running, that's a big amount. Uh, you know, like I said, in low lights too, in the mornings, I'll run this thing down to a five or a six. I know it seems dark right here, but in the morning you can see it just fine. Uh, for this video, we're gonna run it on 10. So exit out of here. One of the most common things that I hear about from a lot of guys, even big time tournament guys are, uh, man, the, the hummingbird, or even any of them, the, the formatting for this waypoint is off. Let's say you're on Google Earth and you're doing a lot of looking around and uh, Google Earth is gonna come at you in a totally different format and guys are like, man, I can't convert this, I can't get this to my graph. It's simple. So it's all you have to do from here, hit your home button. We're gonna go to settings. From settings, I'm gonna go to general. I'm already on general. We're gonna go down. You see right here where it says latitude and longitude format. So this is all three formats that are available today through all the different graphs, through Google Earth, all that stuff. You can see right here, it shows you exact layouts. So if you get one off Google Earth and it looks like this, that's the layout off of it, then that's the format you, that's the format you wanna be on. So typically for a lot of guys, you know, just about, if you're sharing waypoints with your buddy's graph, typically the other companies are gonna run this format right here. That's the format I recommend you do a lot of your stuff in too, because that's the most common format. Uh, this graph on default mode will come in this format right here. So you simply just go through that walkthrough and you go on there and you X out of here. I'm gonna show you real quick. So let's drop a waypoint. I'm gonna drop a waypoint. And it's just to give you guys an, an idea of what we're looking at. So I'm gonna click on this waypoint. Now you can see when you see the actual layout, that's the layout of, I would say almost nine out of 10 waypoints that you guys receive nowadays. Like I said, whether you're sharing or just getting off you know, one of your buddies or even transporting your own. So that's a, a, a quick little hack on waypoints, a uh, common question I get. Now this, this is something that I don't think most guys know about. So you can see, for example, right here, this river running in, I have my shallow water highlight set uh, at five foot. So what that's gonna do on this unit right here, shallow water highlight, this on a helix, is gonna be in red. And one thing I always hear guys about, oh man, my trail on my boat come behind me actually is the same color, it's red. And everybody always says, you guys can see where it's red. That's my trail where I just drove around the lake here. My trail is red and guys are like, man, I wish you can adjust that. You actually can change that. 